What is going on guys, TM here, welcome to another episode of the uh, Rude to Glory. We are going to do another pre-recorded episode. Today I've changed up just a little bit, I've got an Untep, I can't say this guy's name, no idea. But he is left wing, I'm going to call him Untep. And we've got Boivu in the middle with Gonalons there as well. It's a sort of a Premier League kind of hybrid type thing. He has Boivu up front as well. He also has Oxley chamberlain which is just... My theory that if you've got a player in your team, any player, when you come up against someone, they will have at least one of your players. I don't know what it is, but it's it's just that thing, you know. We haven't played Bluevu in ages. I haven't played up. Against, I haven't come up against him in a while. I put him back into the team, and boom! All of a sudden, they're one 0 up, and he has Bluevu in his side. I don't really get it, but um, I think that's just the way that EA works. But either way, uh, we have a shot with Bluevu. 12 minutes in but we are losing this game and it was one of those really awkwardly stupid annoying games where this guy would just sort of get penalties for nothing like that's not a pet come on ref I'm just nudging him you know I'm just giving him nudges it's not a penalty but there we are he uh he gets it Oxley Chamberlain tries to work something back but then ends up getting tripped in the box no penalty for me because the game hates my life but Oxley Chamberlain again doing some really nice work down that right hand side I picked the wrong option or so I thought until the ball got dispatched by like Remy I think it was to make it 2-1 but everything I did against this guy was just not good enough. This guy kept coming forward and in the end managed to make it 3-1 Boivu just before the break as well. So we're going into halftime 3-1 down. The guy had more possession. He was passing it better than I was. He was getting more shots off. It was it was one of those games, you know, where, where it really didn't matter what I did. The guy was just generally better than I was. I tried to play it through to like Remy in the 48th minute and somehow, somehow like Remy doesn't manage to, to score from about nine yards out. But there we are. Ball played down to Ntep. We're in our goal. It's going in. Nope. Like Remy decides to get in the way. Thanks very much. I knew he was going to get in the way as well, but there was nothing I could do about it. And then we concede in the 90th. We were all over him in the second half. Really annoying because I thought I could get into the game. I, I was going to do a draft this episode. And you can see that you can't add FIFA points at the moment. So I can't do a draft. That's why we're playing league games, unfortunately. And I don't really want to go switching the entire team out without doing the draft first. So we get a bigger budget. A lot of you guys are saying, hey, sell your team and do something different with it. But I can't at the moment. Well, no, I can, but I don't want to until I can do a draft. So we're going to wait just a little bit more. Maybe until the next episode, and then I'll do a draft, and we'll see where we are. So we started the game well against this uh, BPL Dortmund side, and a great save from McCarthy to keep us in the game half an hour, and Lescott has decided that Ozil deserves a strike, so he's given the ball away. Again, another save from McCarthy, and Guile Clichy was on a mad one. Guile Clichy just, I don't know what, well, this is actually Gonalons, isn't it? But Guile Clichy was on a mad one in this game. Every time I gave him the ball, he'd run the length of the field, and he'd he'd get he'd get into the box generally, run the length of the field and get into the box. Gonlons was doing okay. This guy just kept shooting and shooting and shooting, and somehow could not put the ball in the back of the net. He couldn't hit the target for love nor money for a start. And Tep is in here, and he just toe pokes it past the goalkeeper to make it one nil. And it's deserved as well, to be fair. But as soon as, as so literally as soon as I score, this guy goes up the other end with Rui Costa, comes into the box, cuts inside, takes about three players out, boom, that's a nice finish. And that is 1-1. But this guy couldn't score at all. And all of a sudden, as soon as I do, it's like, oh, well, it's just going to be an easy goal for him now. It doesn't make any sense. Shelby works check. Brilliant save from the goalkeeper. Ball comes in from the corner. Oxley chamberlain penalty he goes down and we get to take a penalty and I was thinking to myself do you know what boom great save from Petacek I don't know what the hell the goalkeeper was on but he was on something that made him stop ridiculous shots first the John Joe Shelby free kick then the penalty Oxley Chamberlain 77 minutes in works his way into the area gets inside and another great save from the goalkeeper Chamberlain loops it over the top of his head and again check is there check was on an absolute just rampage absolute rampage so next game yep Iron Robin, full Bundesliga, yep, full by Bayern Munich, really good side, Division 6, yep, great, well done. So, I mean, we started well, to be fair, but then this guy kept coming back. I mean, every time I'd go forward and have a really nice promising attack, nice big build-up, a lot of passes involved, this guy would come forward again, and I was struggling. Lewandowski into the box here, and yep, it's another penalty. That wasn't my fault, honestly, that was not my fault. The, uh, the game... 
just switched the player and I died that the way the penalty and things were just going from bad to worse, man. We cannot grab ourselves a win in this one. But like I said, Gal Clichy loves a run. In the last game, he tried it. And in this game, he does it. He goes all the way inside. First effort gets saved. Second one off the bar. Third one. Nah, I'm not missing the third one. I was just toying with you in the first two attempts. Gal Clichy makes it 1-1. And then we're down that side again. To be fair, I feel like I could have won this game like five, six, seven goals to one. I was all over him, but every time he came forward, I would shit my pants. Shill with a great effort, but a great save from McCarthy on the same hand as well. And then the corner comes in. Nothing I can do but clear it up in the air. Looping header, falls back down. Lewandowski cuts inside. Great goal from the pole, and that makes it two goals to one. But again, I just felt like I was in complete control of this game. Oxlade Chamberlain doing some magnificent magic down that right-hand side. Look at him. He just cannot lose the ball even if he tries. I bet you thought, no, he's just cocked that commentary up. No, I've still got the ball. Look at me in the box. Plays it across. And that is just poor attacking play. But right at the end of the first half, we just, I could not, again, I couldn't lose the ball. Gal Clichy brings it forward. Gives it to Remy. Remy can't turn on it. And then the referee decides that that is half time. We were playing extremely well toward the end of that half. We are about five minutes into the second half. Buevu plays a good ball over. What a bit of control that is from the Ox. And that is a very nice goal. 2-2. Oxlade Chamberlain in this game is insanely good. If I did a player review on him, he would he would get high praise. He really would. Ball played into Remy here. Ball plays out wide to Oxlade Chamberlain. Looking to play this back into the box. 74 minutes on the clock. Can't really find the yard to shoot. Great defending. And that is, uh, that's all she wrote. But 78 minutes again, we're on the attack. Milner plays it forward. Buevu out to Oxley chamberlain Lovely stubbed ball through to Milner. Didn't think he was going to make it, but Milner gets it in. And at this point, I thought, yep, I've missed the chance. And boom, overhead kicks for days. That is three goals to two. Ten minutes left on the clock, and I was losing this game 2-1. Didn't know what to do when celebrating. Decided to run to the camera. Yep, you guessed it. We won the game three goals to two. Uh, I deserved that, to be honest. I mean, toward the end of the game, I was just literally lobbing balls forward because I was I was passing it around loads and I wasn't getting anywhere. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to just, you know, go Hail Mary. I'm just going to lob it upfield. And guess what? It worked. We managed to get a victory, finally. So after the three games in this episode, we've managed to pick ourselves up four points. Uh, pick ourselves up. Does that make sense? We lost the game first game 4-1, which was a heavy defeat. You know, even though I'm bad at this game, 4-1 is still a heavy defeat. And I wasn't sure whether that was justified or not. But uh, it took me a game to get going, I think. And then 1-1 against the Dortmund team. And then 3-2 in that one. I should have kept going. I should have. But uh, EA were doing some sort of weird maintenance. They wouldn't let me buy FIFA points. They wouldn't let me search for games properly. It kept saying, you don't have permission to do this. Like, as if I don't own FIFA. It was a weird one. So I had to keep quitting the game and coming back in again. He wouldn't let me play another game. But we have 5,000 coins currently. I think that says 5,000 coins. So what I'm going to do is if the next episode, in the next episode, it lets me play a draft. I'm going to do a draft. And then after the draft, we'll have a coin total. And I'll say, hey, if, if you want me to sell the entire team, I will do so. Um, but in, in fact, I'll tell you what. You let me know in the comment section down below right now. Do you want me to sell the entire team and start a different team with a different league? And then I'll give you a coin total at the end of the next episode. And then you guys can tell me what team to build. Or are you happy for me just to tweak this team? Because I'm kind of happy with like Remy, with Oxley, Chamberlain, John Joe, Shelby, etc. I really like this team. Uh, it's just I like tweaking it here or there. Maybe take that the French players. Maybe put in some Brazilians from La Liga, something like that. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of it. If you've enjoyed it, do me a favor and smack that like button. Subscribe to you. Have done next time. Check out my streams. Goodbye. UFIFA.com are now selling FIFA points 60% cheaper than retail. If you use the code TVM, you get yourself 8% discount as well. The link is in the description.